Hi everyone. It's April 1st. That means it's April Fool's Day. So I wish we were at school so I could be the first one to play an April Fool's Day prank on you, but we're not. So I just want to remind you it is April Fool's Day. I want you to have fun with it, but remember to be nice to your little brothers and sisters and moms and dads when you're playing your little pranks. Um, they're not meant to hurt anybody, just to have fun. Um, so probably if we were at school, my April Fool's Day prank would have been, uh, guess what, no homework today. Uh, April Fool's because it's Wednesday. Um, but that's okay. Uh, today, this is our reading lesson for April 1st, and it's going to be a really, really short lesson. I've heard some from so many of you um, that you're enjoying watching the videos. I'm glad you are because it is really strange for me to sit in my house and talk to the dog about reading and math, but I think how much smarter he's going to be when we're finished here. Um, I just want to tell you before we get started that I miss you guys so, so much. And I got, this evening I came home and um, I had to run to the grocery store. And there was a video from, I'm not going to say who it was. Somebody left me a video on Seesaw that made me cry. It was so, so, so cute. And I just, I miss all of you so much. So anytime you want to leave me a video on Seesaw, you can do it. I would appreciate it. And this person also reminded me that I haven't read Humphrey yet. And so that is my plan. I'm going to try to get that together so I can do that. Um, I tried it one time on uh, Seesaw and it cut me off at five minutes. So I need to do a little bit more research on that and try to figure it out for you guys. Because I miss it too and I miss seeing your faces. And uh, Anyway, I'll go ahead and go on with my lesson because you're probably going to get tired of hearing <laughs> what I have to say. But... Um, today's lesson's really short. Um, this week we've been through the vocabulary. Um, if you need to reread the story, Luke, it, Luke Goes to Bat, go ahead and go back to the Monday YouTube video and you can hear me reading it again. So you should have completed the um, vocabulary. Uh, sorry, I just had to move around here a little bit. Um, you should have completed the vocabulary already. Um, if you didn't, it's okay. You know, sometimes we don't get it all finished in class too, but we survive, we'll be okay. Um, so the vocabulary, you've looked at that. There's not gonna be a vocabulary test or anything like that. So that's finished. And today I included in your packet, it's a baseball shaped packet um, for sequencing. So I just wanna just review sequencing a little bit. And then I'm just gonna let you try it on your own today. Um, a couple of you have uh, been sending me your math homework. You're taking a photo of it and uploading it to Seesaw and sending it to me so I can comment on it. And I'll tell you what, the math homework that I saw today, the short answer questions, you guys are so ready for third grade. I am so impressed with the work you were doing. So keep sending me those things so I can comment. Um, but sequencing, just a few things I want you to remember as you're going through that um, baseball packet. It's gonna start um, with first, next, then, and last. And I want you to remember these things that are really important. I know some people will read the first page or the first two pages of the story, and then they'll fill out the whole packet, first, next, then, and last. Remember, that's not how it works. Every page is gonna be what happened first on this page, what happened next on this page, what happened then. We don't want to go by every page. We want to go, think of it this way, um, what happened in the beginning of the story that was really important, what do we need to know? And this is where you're gonna include characters' names. Um, later you can set, use the pronoun he. Uh, but I want you in your very first one to write a complete sentence Make sure you put an end mark, punctuation, or a period. Um, I want you to write a complete sentence about what is happening in the very beginning of the story, okay? So then you might have to, um, for the next part, you're gonna wanna think about, well, this is what happened first. What happened next in the story that was really important? 
It wasn't that his shoe came untied or that he sat on a curb. It has to be something that deals with the story that was kind of important. So like I always say, if mom or dad walk through the door and we're talking about the story, what would you tell them about the story? So that's gonna be your second event. Then you're gonna have the word then, and you're gonna think about not quite the very end of the story, but towards the end, what was kind of cool that happened in that story? I can think of something that happened maybe that he did with his grandma that was really, really kind of cool. Um, so think about not the very end of the story, but something towards the end. And for your finally or your last event, it's going to be the end of the story. Now, I don't want you to say last, the end, okay? I want you to figure out how does the story end? What happens if I remember the story correctly? He came home from the game and he went somewhere. Do you remember where he went? And do you remember what he found up there? So that's what I want you to think about as you're going through your, your baseball sequencing book. I don't want you to spend a ton of time doing it. I want you to just, if you were retelling the story, what would you say happened first, next, then, and last? Hit the important points, not the small stuff. You know, we don't want all the little tiny stuff in there. Um, just the stuff that's really, really important. Something that will make somebody else want to read the story. So go ahead and give it a try. Um, I'm going to challenge you to see, is there anybody out there who thinks they can read their sequencing book to me on Seesaw? So you'll take a video of yourself and you'll upload it into Seesaw. You can take a video right there on Seesaw. So get into your Seesaw app and you'll see the video camera. And I want you to go ahead and I would love to see five of you. I'm challenging you. Is anybody going to give me more than five? I'll let you know the next day. Um, I'm hoping at least five of you can read your sequencing book to me. And um, I can't wait to see what you're doing. I know you're going to do great work. Just keep working as hard as you can. Um, keep hugging your moms and your dads and your brothers and your sisters and we'll just keep hoping that we see each other soon i'm just so glad we have the videos here that we can do that um have a great april fool's day i miss you guys and i'll see you tomorrow